Hi, John. Welcome. Hello, Carrie. How are you? Great to be Good. looking forward Thanks to for a brand new year. No doubt. Thank you for being with us here today. So I wanted to get into a little bit about you yourself and Yellowstone today. And I wanted to ask you, um, how long have you been with Yellowstone? Uh, I've been with Yellowstone. It'll be coming up on 16 years this March. Uh, so, oh, yes, wow. Uh, yeah, I've been in the Tampa Bay area um, for that entire time. I uh, do cover up and down the West Coast for myself. Uh, but yeah, I've been with the company quite a long time. Is that as long as you've been in the industry? No, I've uh, been in the industry just about right at 20 years. Actually, I uh, went to school, Big Ten school, go Hoosiers, for uh, School of Public and Environmental Affairs. Uh, ended up in Florida back in the 90s for uh, lakes and wetlands and environmental services, and I did that for a few years, and then ended up in the, the landscape side of the business. Been, been there ever since. Yellowstone is a huge company. You guys are what, nationwide? No, uh, we're in 13 states, predominantly in the southern half of the United States. A lot of our management is from southern regions, uh, you know, Clemson, Auburn, uh, I think schools of that north nature in Georgia to where they've gone through their horticulture programs uh, in the University of Florida. Right. So we've kind of tried to curtail ourselves a little more to be in, you know, the professionals of southern landscaping. Do you have any tips for putting together a landscape committee because or could there be i've seen some landscape committees that get a little bit too big too many opinions you know what i mean like let they're going to fight over the color flowers <laughs> with the landscape committee or people picking flowers we may say hey look here's here's three color options or so forth we may not always necessarily sometimes the, the, the certain plant but if, again, if they want to, uh, you know, they can give recommendations on that. Ultimately, you know, they are the client and the customer. If that's what they want, we will be happy to provide it for them. But, you know, we're going to give our professional recommendations on that. I think the other part of it, too, is you'd asked about with the landscape committees. The biggest thing that we see is as long as the landscape committee is directly communicating still with the board, that, that's a key component to, to make sure that there isn't something getting lost in translation there where we've had landscape committees yeah. are, are very uh, active or hands-on and that's great. We love that. But then ultimately that may not be getting relayed to the board. And sometimes that can be a, uh, a little bit confusing. How many times a year would you go in and change out the plant, the flowers or something like that in a community? Typically, if they have what we call a floriculture program, so the floriculture program meaning you're putting in annuals that are, uh, by definition, they're an annual. The, the plant lives its life cycle in one year. But their actual aesthetics really is, is the best for only about three months. So typically, your annual rotations are going to be done quarterly, and they're going to be done in correlation kind of with the weather, you know, depending on, so, if you're looking for a seasonal or winter rotation, we're usually looking to put those in right after Thanksgiving uh, or before, you know, sometime in that beginning December. Uh, so much of it's predicated on weather. You know, certain plants, pansies love the cold. You, you could almost grow them in snow. But if you put them in too early and it's 85 degrees out, they'll die off. Same thing, you know, with, with a, Coleus would be exact opposite. Coleus is a, uh, it loves it extremely hot, humid, and a lot of rain. Uh, so they are a great summer annual. Would not put them in in the winter months because they do not like the cold weather. So a lot of it has to do, the timing has to do with the weather, but you're gonna rotate those out once every three months. If a community wants a special rotation, so sometimes you know a standard community may have four rotations a year, some may opt for a fifth rotation and we'll put in poinsettias, you know, yeah. at the Christmas holiday uh, at their community entrances or clubhouse, wherever they're looking to have those put in. Uh, but again, poinsettias are not extremely cold hardy. They are a little more of a warm climate plant. So putting them outside and putting them in a bed, it, 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 it's a beautiful presentation, but depending on the weather, it depends on how they could be successful or not. I did not know there were companies out there that specialized in light decoration. Yep, that's what they do. They start putting them up 
after Halloween, Thanksgiving, between there and Thanksgiving. And um, a lot of that we coordinate too with them uh, and with the property managers. Uh, a lot of it has to do with we make sure we get things trimmed and, and cut back uh, ahead of them as best we can. Because once they put all the lighting up, obviously we can't be going in and using any type of trimming equipment to trim shrubs and, and trees and so forth. Thank you.